Hey, what's up? Connor here. Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to be going over my top 10 apps that can help you transform your iPad into a true laptop replacement. For the last couple of years, I've used the iPad Pro as my laptop replacement. I've been able to transfer my whole workflow from Mac to the iPad. I still rely on a Mac as a desktop where I can get majority of my heavy work done. But when I want to take a trip to something like the local coffee shop, or I got to head out for things like photography shoots or meetings, that's when I go ahead and grab my iPad. Now it's no secret that the iPad can be a pretty complicated device when it comes to getting work done. Hardware wise, every iPad in Apple's lineup has the potential to become a true laptop or even desktop replacement. Unfortunately though, iPad OS still bottlenecks the device and holds it back from its true potential. iPad OS aside, just like really any computer, it comes down to the apps and you that make the machine productive. I'll be sharing with you my favorite apps when it comes to creativity and productivity. A quick warning though, there will be some paid apps alongside some free ones as well. The first app on this list is my email client of choice, and that's Spark. It's almost hard to explain how good Spark is. You can add all your email addresses to this app and check them all individually or together. Where I find this app really shines in comparison to a lot of other email clients is the Smart Inbox. The Smart Inbox recognizes the difference not just between something like spam in your inbox, but also separating things like newsletters, ads, and people slash businesses. So right when you open your inbox, you get all your important emails front and center while pushing the least important things down towards the bottom. I've been using Spark for the last couple years now and I haven't had any reason to switch or have found any better email client. Now this next app is something that I'm sure everybody has some version of and that's a to-do list. Now for my to-do list app of choice, I choose things three. Okay, so honestly, this might be the best checklist slash to-do list app that I've ever experienced, but that doesn't come without its price tag. I tried a lot of different to-do apps, but I always turned back to Things 3. As my life started to become busier and busier, Things 3 was the only app that was able to handle all my different tasks and all the different parts of my life. I have a section for personal, work, and content creation. Things 3 overall is a super simple to-do app, but there's a lot of powerful features that help separate it from others. But hold on, I'm not just leaving you with this expensive to-do app. If you guys are looking for a simple to-do app, I also highly recommend checking out Notebook. Notebook is a free app that kind of mimics a sticky note. You can create a sticky note for every new note slash task. And I love the way the checklist works and you also get some features that I personally haven't seen on any other planner, even Things 3. But where the value is in this app is not just the price tag, but it's also available on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac, also the Apple Watch, and it's all available through the App Store. Now it's hard to talk about iPad apps without bringing up handwritten notes. I use Notability for all my note taking with the Apple Pencil. Now I must admit, I don't use this app much anymore, but when I was in school, I relied on this app a ton. I used to use this app for all my note taking in classes. I would also download all my textbooks so that I can mark up the pages while in a lecture. So if you're a student or someone who just wants to take digital notes, I highly recommend checking out Notability. Where I do find myself jotting down most of my notes is with this next app, IA Writer. I absolutely love using this app for things like scripting my YouTube videos, my Instagram captions, or if I had to jot down any random ideas. The simplicity of this app is what keeps me glued to it. You get a blank canvas with a typewriter style font, and it really just helps you zone in and concentrate on what you're trying to type out. There's also a lot of powerful features and tools when it comes to markdown. I personally don't get much use out of these features because I simply use this app for one reason, and that's just typing things out. Now, a great free alternative to IA Writer is Drafts. Drafts offers a very similar experience to IA Writer and also captures the same idea as having a blank canvas and typewriter style font. Now jumping into the second part, and that's creativity. These are the apps that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and what I use my iPad for most. As a graphic designer, it's important to have the right tools without having to deal with compromises, and that's where Affinity Photo and Designer come in. If you use Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, then you know how powerful these apps are. Adobe is the industry leading software when it comes to basically everything creative. When I was in school studying graphic design, Adobe was the only platform that we used and learned on. Adobe does offer an Illustrator and Photoshop app on the iPad, but they're very lackluster, and if you want to get some serious design work done, they're basically unusable. Affinity Photo and Designer offer 
her full desktop class alternatives to Illustrator and Photoshop, starting with Affinity Photo, which is a Photoshop alternative, offering every tool that you would need to do small touch-ups on photos or completely reinvent a photo. I turn to Affinity Photo for all things that have to do with photo manipulation. I use this app for mainly creating my YouTube thumbnails as well as stories on Instagram. Affinity Designer, on the other hand, is a desktop class Illustrator app once again, available right on your iPad. Designer is a professional graphic design app with everything you need to create illustrations, branding, icons, UI slash UX designs, print projects, and typography. Out of all the apps that are gonna be listed today, I rely on this one the most. I use Designer for creating everything, whether it's for clients or for me personally. Working on complex print designs, as well as logos and web designs has been so simple and fluid on the iPad. I enjoy using these apps so much that when I was finished school, I went ahead and ditched Adobe and purchased a fitting designer and photo for my Mac. So now being able to switch from Mac to iPad is so seamless without having any compromises on feature sets or tools. Now I know I just went ahead and showed you two very powerful design apps, but I can't deny the feature set and the convenience of having Canva. Now I personally don't use Canva for many things, but if you're looking to create a quick short video or graphics, it's the perfect tool for beginners or experts. The main reason for me using this app though is actually for inspiration. Canva has some fantastic templates and designs that help me spark ideas or help me get the ball rolling when I'm working on projects for myself. If you're someone who doesn't necessarily have the time to create designs themselves and don't wanna hire someone, Canva is a great tool to tackle all design needs. So just like earlier in this video when I mentioned Notability as a note-taking app, it's impossible to create an iPad app list without mentioning Procreate. Procreate is the best tool when it comes to sketching, drawing, and painting. Whether you're doing light sketches or complex drawings, Procreate is the best tool for the job. I don't have much of a hand in drawing, but I love using this app for quick sketching and brainstorming. I also love using this app to create wallpapers for both my iPad and my iPhone. The amount of brushes and pens that you have access to within this app can really help bring your art to another level and it's all from the convenience of your iPad. Now I know everyone watching this video isn't gonna be video editing, but if you're someone who wants to get into video editing, especially on the iPad, there's no better app than LumaFusion. LumaFusion is a pro desktop class video editor. If you're someone who uses Final Cut Pro, you'll find it very easy to switch over to LumaFusion or just have it for convenience. I personally use this app to edit all my videos here on YouTube, all my Instagram reels and TikToks. The best part and why I choose the video edit on the iPad is because of the convenience and the power. You can edit all 4K video and even some 8K video all on the iPad using something like LumaFusion. Now, for someone who doesn't want to go ahead and purchase something like LumaFusion, I highly recommend checking out iMovie, which is available on all Apple devices. Now, I know you're probably thinking iMovie, like seriously, iMovie, but I'm telling you guys, if you take the time to learn iMovie, you can get some crazy video editing done. For the last app on this list, the more I think about it, this actually might be my favorite and most used app on my iPad. That app being Pixelmator Photo. Now I know there's Lightroom, and honestly Lightroom might be the better choice to go with, especially because you can get it for free. But aside from having the same photo editing tools, Pixelmator Photo does one thing that can't be beat and is super unique to the app. When you edit photos, changes sync with your photos app automatically. So your existing iCloud photo library is actually what's being used as the file management and catalog for photos. So once you edit and save that photo, it's just automatically synced across all your devices using iCloud. Now that's gonna basically wrap it up for the top 10 apps that I use to help transform my iPad into a true laptop replacement. I would love to know in the comments if you use your iPad as a laptop and what's your favorite iPad app. And lastly, thank you guys for stopping by and watching this video. And until next time, Peace.